Welcome back to another Mugen Arcade Mode playthrough, hopefully getting through the whole thing. Today we're actually looking at a sprite swap of a character, Kung Fu Stick, which is basically Kung Fu Man, but swapped. Here we go. Oh look, he has a story. Kung Fu Stick was playing his N64 one day when he was attacked by Sooth Dude and his guys. While he was fighting Sooth Dude's guys... <laughs> <laughs> Suit dude captured his N64. This is basically Kung Fu Man's intro, just different. Determined to save his N64, Kung Fu Stick heads into the Mugen Tournament. Ew. Kung Fu Stick actually, I think, has an ending if he's the same as Kung Fu Man, because Kung Fu Man has an intro and an ending. So I might show off Kung Fu Stick's ending either way. Like how? I said, use only one continue. And uh, no more than that. But, oh god, god, it's so weird playing as, like, average Kung Fu Man. Like, normal Kung Fu Man when I have a, uh, edited copy of Kung Fu Man. So weird. So weird. Live and let die. I kind of wanted to do a Mugen Legacy about Kung Fu Man. Do the different variations. I've already done an evil Kung Fu Man. Or was it Cyborg Kung Fu Man? I don't know. Do regular Kung Fu Man, all the edits of Kung Fu Man. His story where, uh, smooth dude or something like that. Kung Fu Stick has another super, I just can't get it to come out for some reason. It's the uppercut super that Kung Fu Man has. Inuyasha! Let's go, Inuyasha. Breaks a pencil, I love it. Well, this is a, this is a very nice joke character. That's all he is. It, it, basically, if you, if you don't want... Kung Fu Man, but you want someone that's like Kung Fu Man, who isn't Kung Fu Man, who plays exactly like Kung Fu Man, that's doesn't look like Kung Fu Man, then go with Kung Fu Stick. <laughs> Just saying. Oh, the lights changed. That's right, this stage has uh, day and night features. Will you stop blocking my attacks? Do it fast! And I gotcha! Can't tell if he's picking his nose or if he's like doing a little kid like type of thing. Heck, this is this is before um, Kung Fu Man got updated in Mugen 1.0, I think, because I think Kung Fu Man actually got some added moves when the people at Elect Bite updated Mugen. Believe it or not. So this is this is before what do you call Kung Fu Man's update? So I recall Kung Fu Man having a lot more moves than this in Mugen 1.0. And it's not the Kung Fu Man I have. By Divine Wolf there. I like, had a lot of questions. Well, what Kung Fu Man is that you have? It's by Divine Wolf, I believe. Purn Fur! Hey hey! This battle I actually get a different character during these playthroughs, which is good. Stop blocking. Come here. What is he attacking him with? A power glove? Yeah, and he's got controls on his feet. It's a weird character. Weird character. Saya! Saya! Kung Fu Stick. He's kind of powerful, though. Just can't get the... What do you call there? Can't get his upper attack to come out for the life of me, though. Maybe. <laughs> there you go, Pern Fur. Damn it! Suck on that. Trying to make his stupid uppercut come out, but I don't think it happens. Pop, pop, pop. Nope. Nope. Um. No, I can't get it to come out. Oh well. That's fine. We'll just beat her normally with this move. This move seems to do a lot of damage. You do it off the wall, and then. Whoa! Magical. I gotta do a play to a pern for one day. By the same sprite artist that did um, all the, um, what do you call there? Sonic characters I did earlier in the month. Such a good song from Marvel vs. Capcom 1. Secret characters theme. Cyborg Shoto! Two sprite swaps! Gotta love it! Actually, Cyborg Shoto is actually from an 
Authentic Street Fighter game, I believe. It's um, some Street Fighter game for the Sega CD, I want to say, but it might actually not be the Sega CD. It's, it's like an FMV game, and he's in the training mode, I believe. I only have him because, well, one, he's a Shoto, and two, it's kind of cool. <laughs> not gonna lie. It's a very cool character, I think. Kind of looks like Harutagon. Not Harutagon, Hatchiak. Sorry. He's got the same color scheme. Hatchiak. From Plan to Eradicate the Saiyans. Hey, yeah. Will you stop blocking? Stop it, stop it, stop it. I can't do any combos with this character either because, um,. He doesn't have any. He can chain combos. Like that. Very fast. But it's not that not that good. There we go. Two hit combo. How do you like that? Stop jumping. Stop blocking. Take your beating like a man! Three hit combo, gotta love. We'll just punch him in the dick a couple times. There we go. Everybody knows the cyborg weakness is his crotch. Winner! Sketch Turner. Man, this is gonna be so funny if I'm able to beat this with Kung Fu Stick and I couldn't do it with Vicky. You know what the problem is, too? A, a lot of these characters I've been playing as are uh, four button characters. Which isn't a bad thing, but I prefer six button characters. And um, characters that play like Marvel vs. Capcom. Which I, I, I guarantee you, the next character that I'm about to play with, will we will basically beat the game with him. We will beat Mugen Arcade Mode with him, because he is busted. He's super busted. When Polly is in trouble, I am not slow. It's hip, 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 and away I go. That's a, that's a hint for you. Oh, there's the uppercut! Why does it decide to come out now? Strange. Hmm, yeah, see? Kung Fu Man, or Stick, or whatever the hell he is. It's like, yeah, see, that's strange. Oh, for crying out loud. Stop it. Stop it. Stop blocking. Aha! Yeah, you didn't block that time. Look at this walk. <laughs> Was that a walk or a run? That's a walk. That's right, Kung Fu Man originally didn't have a run animation. He just had a walk animation. Come on. Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, I tried to throw him the other way. I guess you can't. Oh, you threw me instead! Yo, Sketch. I gotta do a playthrough with Sketch one day. Maybe whenever I play Comic Zone and then afterwards I do a movie playthrough with Sketch. Remember those days in which I would do a game with a character and then do a movie playthrough right after it? Man, I miss those days. Now I get requests to play characters like Kung Fu Stick. <laughs> I'm not complaining. I'm just joking around. I like doing requests. Hi, I'm Daisy. This battle is Let's go, Daisy. Hi, I'm Daisy! Daisy, stop. What is he poking him with? Because that's a controller right there for the heavy attack. Is that, that, is that a knife or something? Or is it a needle? Or is it a, a, a Nintendo controller? Or is it a gun? Is it two guns? Oh, wait a minute. I think I figured it out. I think that's the Wiimote, because he's got two there. It's Wiimote and Nunchuck. Yeah. Yeah, that's a Wiimote. Okay. Man, keep, stop blocking! I'll walk up to you again and do it. Aha! Feel my Wiimote pain! Because he doesn't have any N64 stuff on him, because his N64 was kidnapped. How the hell did that come out? How the hell did I do that uppercut? Is it back forward? Live and let Is it? Die. Let me check. Nope. Nope. That's not it. Back back. Aha! Oh, now, now it doesn't want to come out. Now it doesn't want to come out. Oh yeah! Damn it. Ah, just go with this. Those are his only two supers. He's got nothing else. <laughs> so don't ask. Ow, you bitch. How dare you. Thanks, Daisy. Daisy's got some 
mean looking hips in this. Oh, I'm sorry, quads. In this uh, version of her. Come on. A little bit closer. A little bit closer. Yeah! It is a Wii Remote. I just saw the up close there. I got no projectile, so I'm gonna slowly poke her to death. Do, do. Oh, winner. Kung Fu 6 should just have one win quote. And that win quote should be stuck it to you. Daisy was the mid boss, really? Mega Man is the final boss? Really? We're gonna. We might do this! I don't know why I have Mega Man as the final boss. He's, uh. He's kinda weak. Would have been hilarious if I ran into Kung Fu Man, huh? No, wait, that's why I have Mega Man as a final boss, because sometimes you just need an easy boss to fight when you're going through a Mugen Arcade mode. Sit down. You don't want anything like Shadow Lady there, who isn't as crazy as Batman, but, you know, still pretty nuts. Stop blocking. Take your beating like a man, Mega Man. And Kung Fu Stick just got the luck of the draw, I guess. Instead of getting anybody like, uh... Batman or Broly, he gets Mega Man. <laughs> Live and let die. I should add more like different boss type characters, slightly easier ones too, maybe. Take out the uh, no, no, the challenging ones are fun when I actually use a character that I can like use. Sometimes, like I said, I play Mugen in my spare time. It helps me, it helps me meditate. <laughs> and I'll go through it like Goku Z two and whatnot and. Thrash, all the characters get to a tough boss like Batman is like, yeah, let's go, Batman. I know what you're thinking. Why don't you just go into watch mode? I could do that. That's boring. Because Goku gets an ending when you uh beat seven opponents. Well, music's restarting. Charge a shot to Oh come on, Mega Man No! Mega Man! Hey ya! Suck on that, Mega Man. Let's see Kung Fu Sticks ending. Having won the Mugen Tournament. I thought that was him holding a piece of poo, but it's the house. Kung Fu Stick goes up to Soothe Dude and kicks him in the groin. <laughs> I love the law. Kung Fu Stick then continues playing Clay Fighter Sculptor's Cut. The end. Oh boy, what a game to be playing. Well, that's Kung Fu Stick. Stay tuned next time. When Polly is in trouble, I am not slow. It's hip, 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 and away I go. Underdog is next. My name is Clinker Roth. I thank you all so much for watching.